Hey everybody, it's Triple L, and now let's talk some My Hero Academia. Yeah, we're gonna be answering a question. I got it on one of the videos, and I figured it's a good enough question that I can take some time to answer it because it's one of those things that takes a little bit of inference in, and it's kind of like pretty much speculation, but it's speculation that I think is based with evidence. So we're gonna get into it. The question is. Why does All Might have a muscle form? Like specifically, why does it exist? Why can he transform into it? How does that even happen? It's a pretty good question. So All Might told us in chapter one that it was pretty much the same mechanic as like when someone goes to the pool and they are showing off that they have abs when they actually don't. You know, at the time, it's obviously just something he's saying, but that reasoning well, really doesn't go to account for how someone can go from skeletal missing uh, a lung, missing a stomach, and somehow be able to level a whole city in another scene, right? Luckily though, there are a few clues that Hero Academia has left around that we can use to make a guess at what is actually happening, why All Might is able to go into this muscular form. So in chapter 2 of the My Hero Academia manga, uh, All Might tells us this line, think of one for all as the sum convergence of the peak strength of countless men. Just gonna tell you, one for all is gonna be the thing that's playing into here. Like that's, it's the only quirk we have to work with. It's the only supernatural mechanic that we have to work with. So naturally, it was gonna be one for all. And in this line, the word peak is the most critical. But before we continue on to the implications of that word, we have to agree on another fact. A one for all has a memory component. And we know that it has some degree of memory component because we saw that it has some sort of record of the past one for all users. By the simple virtue that Izuku saw them. We have to make a leap and assume that the memory component is also there for the physical aspects of the quirk, but when you see the end results, when you see that All Might's turning into this big muscular guy, kind of makes sense. I mean, like, you, it's, it's just safest to assume that. It makes sense to think that All Might and One for All, it returns his body to a time before his critical injury. So going back to the word peak, the important thing here is that one for all doesn't record weakness. Otherwise, it wouldn't have the peak strength. If one for all was continuously updating itself with all might strength at any real time moment, then one for all would have weakened and the statement it records peak strength is the peak strength of countless men would be false. And that's just not the case. One for all stockpile cannot diminish, it can only increase. With All Might though, it gets a little bit more interesting because what we're seeing here is there's something else that's outside of the quirk's initial description, that being that All Might's body is transforming to a state to accommodate. So we've established that one for all will only change when power increases not uh, decreases. The way to think about this is that when All Might was nice and healthy, one for all took a snapshot of All Might because maybe this was his peak strength at that point because we know that after he had the injury he went on the decline with his physical ability. One for all had no reason to take a snapshot because it's lesser. Anyway that initial snapshot is now stored in one for all's memory component. Now whenever All Might activates one for all, one for all will bring him back to the peak for the duration by booting up the snapshot of All Might's peak. Now you might ask, if one for all has a snap of a muscular body, why doesn't it just load it into Izuku's body? Well that one's kinda easy. One for all exists as an invisible energy. We don't really know where that power or the stockpile resides. It's hard to say whether it's an aura, whether it's outside of Izuku's body, whether it's inside of Izuku's body. It gets kinda tough and then you see some little mechanics going on with Izuku in particular. The so one thing that we know for sure is that it acts through a human body. The, the strength goes through human limbs. We also know that it's invisible energy because it has an invisible transfer mechanism, right? Izuku didn't become strong all of a sudden after he ate the DNA. That power was going towards him. That's an invisible mechanic that we have no way to properly describe. I think it's reasonable to think that the stockpile is not entirely linked to biology. And that might be why we have the incompatibility between the host and the power, like you know, Izuku's body will break because it can't handle the power. Anyway, for Izuku, I think it's safe to say that the reason that Izuku cannot buff up similarly to the way that All Might buffs up is because one for all snapshot of Izuku is still just the current Izuku. This is his body at the time of his peak power. One for all can't restore or buff up a host body to a point that the host body hasn't experienced by merit of what the snapshot means. This is where Izuku's at his strongest with his muscles. One for all would take the picture there. It has no reason to take a picture otherwise. 
All Might's body is a different issue. This is now a new host, a new body. If One for All doesn't have like a roadmap for how to get to that point, it can't do it. I think that's very reasonable to assume. But that's what I would say about One for All. Guys, let me know what you thought down below. This is just kind of logicing it out using little bits of clues that we have. If you have any other interpretation, let me know down below. But I think this one's pretty solid. Anyway, to that commenter that had that question, I hope this was a good enough answer for you. And at the very least, I hope it gave you something to think about. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Short video. But till next time, I hope you have a great day.